Hello friends, welcome to uh, my YouTube channel. So this is my first ever video, so I'm super excited. Um, but if I ramble a bit or if I sound like I have no idea what I'm doing, that would be because this is my first video. So um, I thought it would be fun to start off just with a little bit of an introduction and also to show you what I have put into the space where I will be filming. Um, personally, I know when I watch YouTube videos, I always see things hanging on racks like this or hanging up on walls and I think, where is that from? I love that. I want to buy it. And then no matter how much I search, I can never find out where these things are from. So my gift to you is to tell you where all of this beautiful stuff is from so that you don't have the same struggles that I do. Before we get into that though, I thought I would introduce myself for anybody that hasn't come here via my Instagram. Um, so if you are following me on Instagram, hello, welcome, um, thanks for jumping over. But if you don't follow me on any other social media, I thought I'd just let you know a little bit about myself. So my name is Catherine, um, you can call me Kat, Catherine, whatever, I pretty much answer to anything. Um, I live on the Gold Coast uh, with my husband and our two small children. We have been living here, I've been living here my, well, since I was about two, um, moved up from Sydney originally. My husband and I met a week before I turned 16 and we have been together now 16 years, so I am 32. We have two children who are seven, <laughs> seven and five, um, and they are both in school. Um, our youngest has just started his first year of schooling, um, so I, used to back in the day write a blog um, I started blogging probably not long after um, I met my husband I um, found the world of blogging because my 21st birthday um, I had a grease party so I wanted to make a circle skirt like a poodle skirt and I discovered through googling and everything the whole world of sewing blogs so I was always a massive sewer um, I sewed a lot for myself prior to having children um, and that's where I started my first blog. So my first blog was all about what I sewed, all the clothes that I made, a little bit of baking here and there and some other DIY projects but mainly it focused on sewing. Um, after I had kids I kind of ran out of time to do all of that stuff as you do, mum life um, and my kind of online world uh, became more focused on Instagram. Um, so I love to take photos. Photography is something that I've always had um, a lot of fun with. I get a lot of enjoyment out of. So Instagram for me was kind of just like a natural progression, I think. And with the rise of Instagram, I think came the fall of a lot of blogs. People weren't interacting as much on blogs. So it was a lot easier for me just to switch over to Instagram um, and hang out on there. So if you're not following me on Instagram already, my name on Instagram is Lane & Co as well. So it's underscore Lane & Co underscore. Um, if you did want to jump over and check out any of my photos. Um, if you do jump on over there, I share mostly fashion, a bit of lifestyle, um, family stuff, that sort of thing. So I try to keep everything kind of colorful and bright and fun because that's what I enjoy. Um, so if it resonates with you, feel free to uh, click the follow button and follow along. So I have mentioned a few times, well not mentioned really, I've kind of been thinking a few times about it in the past of starting a YouTube channel. I love um, photography and I love learning all of that and I would like to learn more in terms of videography and editing and that sort of thing. So this kind of seemed like a good easy way to jump into that and a natural progression from my Instagram world. So I finally got my space all set up and I'm absolutely loving how it is looking. I've also finally gotten a little bit of time to myself. This is the last day of the first week of school back that I'm filming this. Um, so it's the first day that I've actually been home, had some time to myself and managed to get up here so that I can do a little bit of filming. So with that said, let's jump into a little bit of a tour of how I have decorated my space. on this side of the room I have my clothes rack and I also have some shoes down here on the floor and a stool so I'll show you all of that shortly 
This clothes rack um, I picked up at Kmart. I believe it was about $30. It's not online anymore, so I can't link it for you, unfortunately. It was supposed to have, this end was supposed to be a hat rack, but I didn't really want the hat rack, but I wanted this look. So um, I just sawed the top off with my husband's handsaw and made myself the perfect clothes rack. So around the clothes rack, this little faux ivy garland, that is also from Kmart, I believe it was $5. Um, and then I just hung a few of my clothes here in kind of my favorite color scheme. So I thought I'd take you through all of those because I know I see clothes in the background and I want to know where they are. Start off with this one. So this is a dress, but on me, because I am, I'm 171 centimeters, it's a top. Um, but it's got these beautiful billowy sleeves. So this is from Shona Joy. I'll show you a little close up. It's got this beautiful like self dot material with this lovely embroidery trim, um, which follows through onto the sleeves and then onto the ends of the sleeves. So that I actually picked up um, off a Facebook marketplace um, for $50. So that was a bargain. I absolutely love it. I haven't worn it yet because I bought it to wear to something in particular, but it was so hot that the long sleeves, it was just too much. So I decided not to, and now I'm just waiting for the weather to cool down again so I can get an opportunity to wear that one. Another piece that I have hanging on here is this pink jumpsuit from Chic. So it is a long jumpsuit. Um, I'll show you a nice close up of the color there. So yeah, I absolutely adore this one. This color, is, pink is my favorite color. You will come to learn very quickly, um, but I absolutely adore that piece. I believe it was like $150 or something like that. I got it on sale. But Chic is one of those brands that I'm always happy to spend the money on because I've had so many of their pieces and the quality is phenomenal. They last so well. Um, and they also have a really good resale value. So if you are someone that like buys things, wears it for a couple of occasions and wants to change, there is a chic um, like buy sell swap group on Facebook. So I would recommend jumping on there because things do sell really well and they do hold their value. So I also have a little, an empty coat hanging here. So ignore that. There is supposed to be a denim jacket hanging there, but I wore it the other day. So it's in the wash. This piece, this top is from Target. It's from the Danny Minogue Petites range. If this is still available, I'll drop a link down below in the description box so you guys can check it out. I have styled this one on my Instagram page before, so I will um, pop a little picture in for you to have a look at of what that looks like on it as well. Like I said, pink is my favorite color. So I have this beautiful pink blazer. Um, I've just rolled the sleeves up there. It's just a really basic pink blazer, oversized boyfriend style. I like to wear it just with either like some skinny jeans or some like ripped jeans. Um, it's, a, it's super comfy. Again, a little bit too hot here on the Gold Coast at the moment. So we'll be getting more wear out of that one um, once it cools down. I picked this one up from TK Maxx and it was uh, $30. So nice bargain for the blazer there. I feel like there's a lot of things on here that came from Facebook Marketplace. So I think that gives you an idea of, um, I shop around a lot. So these, unroll that, anyway. This is a pair of jeans I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I loved ripped jeans. I know like my dad's probably like, where's the rest of the jeans? What did you pay for? Anyway, they came from Facebook Marketplace. They were secondhand, so I saved money, thanks to all the rips. But these are by um, Kasubi, Suvi, Kasubi, <laughs> however you want to say that. So yeah, these I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Um, again, I haven't worn these yet because I'm picking things up on Facebook Marketplace in like preparation for winter. I like to have stuff ready to go before the season. So it is way too hot on the Gold Coast to be wearing these but I absolutely love them. They've got this beautiful like detailing on the back as well. So you've got the rips front and back. I just love a ripped jean and I think these have been done really well. They've got that material inside some of the rips there. Um, but yeah, that's those. Now this piece, I feel like I have seen it still on the website. This is from the Iconic, 
The brand is The Fated, but it's just a tiered um, white dress. So it's probably a little bit hard to see on um, the camera, but it's got the tie up shoulders. It is such a beautiful dress. It's lined, it's really comfortable to wear. I chuck it on with a denim jacket. Um, I'm looking forward to winter where I can chuck it on with a leather jacket. Some ankle boots would be perfect. I have styled this one up on the feed as well. I wore it when we were in Fraser Island. So I'll pop a little photo in as well so you can see what that looks like. Um, has pockets, the perfect thing that every dress needs. But yeah, this is a gorgeous piece. So if I can find it on the Iconic, I'll drop a link down below for you guys as well. Now this is one of my favorite things in my wardrobe. It is a leopard print fur jacket. Now, the reason I am so excited about this, this is by the brand Raised by Wild, but the thing that makes this jacket so good is I picked this up from the Animal Welfare League op shop last winter, at the end of last winter, for $5. And when I bought this, a friend of mine had bought one exactly the same earlier that season, and she had paid $100 for it. So $5 from the thrift shop, op shop, whatever you call them. Um, it is absolutely beautiful, lined, fits me perfectly so there was no way I could leave that one behind I can't wait for the weather to cool down so I can wear this one again alrighty friends so welcome down to the floor underneath my clothing rack so if you follow me on Instagram you would know I currently have an obsession with um, chunky sneakers so this pair is from Betts. I picked them up at Harbour Town in the um, Boxing Day sales. So they do have a platform in them. So this section is a platform. So they're a nice chunky sneaker. They give me a bit of extra height. Um, but I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I wear them mostly with like my bike shorts. Um, I wore them out the other day with a nice Mr. Zimmy dress. They're super comfy. I'll try and pop a couple of pics in um, from my Instagram stories that I've shared when I've been wearing these so you can see kind of how I style them. These were $50 um, in the sales and I absolutely have worn them to pieces already. You can see on the soles, so um, well worth the money there. Now this is another pair of shoes I picked up in the uh, Boxing Day sales. These ones are from ASOS. They are a metallic silver cowboy boot. It's like a faux, I don't know if you can see that, like a faux um, crocodile skin. Absolutely in love with these shoes. Again, all this winter stuff that I haven't been able to wear yet, but these will definitely be getting a lot of wear once the weather cools down on the Gold Coast. Now those boots are resting on top of a stool. This is actually one that we've had in the house for ages. This is from Amart Furniture. I picked it up when it, um, like, met not last year, the year before. So we've had it for a while. Um, it was $30 when I collected it, but they probably don't have them anymore. I will have a check for you. But there are some really nice, like, ottoman stools around in the same kind of pink, navy blue colors that I have around um, at Kmart and at Target and Spotlight at the moment. So if you're looking for one, I would definitely recommend checking those ones out. Now, if we come over to this side, it's mostly decor. So this um, fiddle I've had for a while. I picked it up at Big W for like $20. So it was an absolute bargain. And it's just sitting in a pot there that is from Kmart as well. So you'll see that most of the stuff I have in this space is from Kmart, Target, Big W, because um, I figure if it's setting up a space like this for somebody that's new, it doesn't need to be expensive. So I'm trying to show you guys what you can do on a budget. Now, of course, we cannot forget the rug. So this beautiful rug is from Kmart. It was um, $45, I believe. It is the Tufted Cream Rug. This one is not online anymore, but I found this in store if you are local to the Gold Coast in Rabina Town Centre. So this beautiful rug, it's nice and soft. I highly recommend if you are looking for a good rug. Um, but yeah, Kmart got the goods again. Okay, so up here on the wall, I have my um, hat that is from Lack of Colour. Um, that one is definitely still available, so I will drop a um, link down below to it. So it's got this beautiful black gross green ribbon around the outside and those beautiful frayed edges I absolutely love it this is the concertina um, wall rack or whatever it's called I think from um, Kmart so this is the small one this was nine dollars it spreads from here all the way down to there so it's got a good um, good coverage on it for the nine dollar one there is a bigger one but 
it would have just been way too big for this space. So that's where I hide my batteries. Now guys, this is where we realize how much of a noob I am at filming YouTube videos because I have filmed this entire video, the entire thing. I don't want to go back and redo it so you're getting it how it is. But I've just realized as I'm about to show you the last thing in this room, I didn't turn my damn fairy lights on. What sort of person has fairy lights and doesn't turn them on? Kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Anyway, so my fairy lights, let's give them the moment that they deserve. I have two of these packets of string lights hanging um, from the roof, so they're just up here. I don't know if you can see those 3M if it's focusing properly. So I've hung them along the top here um, with 3M, the clear little plastic 3M hooks. I have two packs, so in the middle here it kind of overlaps a little bit, but these were from Target and they were like $8 a box. So they're super cheap, super affordable for anyone that is wanting to start a YouTube channel or just wanting to decorate their room with some um, fairy lights. I would definitely recommend checking out Target and if you can't find any in your local Target, check out Kmart. I will again drop a link below for you for those fairy lights, but once again, let's just give them the moment that they deserve since I decided to uh, not turn them on. I feel bad for them. Okay friends, so that is it. That is the end of my very first YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any requests for videos that you'd like to see, drop them in the comments below. And of course, subscribe if you would like to keep up to date with the other videos that I share. I do have a couple of videos planned, so they will be hopefully coming up within the next week so that you've got a little bit more content to enjoy. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this first video as much as I have enjoyed making it and we will see you again soon. Bye.